Well, John, part one of the off-grid shed lighting experiment. This is what Amazon told me was a good idea. What do you think? They're USB-powered lights, and they're about four watts a piece. How expensive were they? That's a good question, actually. So this is about $15. We'll make sure to post a link for anybody in case you're interested in anything we use in the experiments. So John and I are thinking before sunset, we will grab our unit there and maybe hang a light here and try and get another light further over and maybe one light there. We've been expanding on the hooks. We've got these magnetic hooks everywhere so that we can temporarily do the lighting. We've actually got other hooks that we found that have little carabiners in them that are pretty cool. They're twisties and stuff, so when we put bigger light fixtures up here, they've got a lot more poundage to hold them. But for now, John and I are going to get this set up so that after sunset, we can see if it's actually worth anything. Here we go, we got our daylight pre-run setup going on. The first issue we figured out is that the moment you start running them up and over, the switches get a tad bit out of reach. So it's a good thing it's easy to unplug USB here. We've got our Marixon unit that they donated to this project. And right now, it's convinced it's pulling 12 watts. I would like to point out one thing about this that we noticed is that if I come up here and I switch this one off, so that's off, and then we grab this one and we switch this one off, leaving the center one on, this unit for some reason does not show if there's wattage that's being pulled below 6 watts. Because if we follow this one up, and we come over, obviously there's juice going to that. So, yeah. Just a side note. On future testing, we might have to find a unit that's a tad bit more sensitive if we're dealing with a low wattage setup. But, I expect most units to be like 10 watts or better. So there we go. Right now we're pulling electricity that doesn't exist, apparently. Here we go. So the light that you can see in the center right now is the Max On, which is set for USB mode right now. And Jesse is going to turn on the center light. Now the camera is set for no adjustment rating for video. So this is what it truly actually looks like in here for the amount of light coming out of there. Now if you remember earlier, we had three of them, so we'll have Jesse turn on the other two so that they're spread out. And there's that one. And there's that one. Which casts a shadow a pretty decent distance. I would say that it doesn't cover... There's that there at about halfway. And I would say... You could move stuff around without any issue and stuff, but it's not really surgical light, but it's pretty decent. And over here on the work area, that's interesting. The video is compensating just a little bit. This is actually quite a bit darker in video, so something here the digital is compensating for. I mean, it's definitely doable work light area. It's not anything too great. But I'd say for 15 bucks USB, you could run it off of just about anything that you needed to in order to light up the area. And like I said, these are just magnetic hooks in order to put it wherever we wanted. So like if you had one of those metal Walmart buildings or something like that, you could do the same thing. Stink, 20 pounds worth of weight right there. I'm thinking these are going to be awesome for when I'm painting stuff later on. Hi, Prego. What's your thoughts on it? Do you like the lighting or no? You what? Halloween decoration. 
Halloween decorations. Actually, that's that's not a bad idea. They are pretty cheap and low wattage and everything. They would do good for a Halloween decoration. I could see that. You can make little ghosties out of Little ghosties? Yeah. Oh, like the floating puffy ghosts with the cotton balls and stuff that you always send me stupid ticky <laughs> talks about? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> all kinds of stupid ticky talks. Hi. Can you, just for the sake of seeing the, the side to side, can you kill the center in one of the side ones? Yeah, so definitely. How about just this out? How about that outer? Okay, so the outer and the outer make enough for walking around, but you definitely need the third one to compensate. Well, there we go. This is the kind of setup that Jesse and I will be working with as we try out God knows how many different Amazon told me to buy this or YouTube comments said I had to. Our goal is going to be probably sub $50. We're trying to do it on a budget, thrown together, whatever. And we've got an entire basement and camping supplies and stuff we can retrofit with whatever's left over from this idea. Yeah, yeah, somebody can't wait to pop so she can go camping again. Anyways, <laughs> all right, Prego, say bye-bye.